You ever just wake up and choose violence? Well, I did today. <laughs>I'm Kat. If you're new to this channel, I do like bookish content and stuff. Sometimes with years in between each video. That's not true. I don't think I've done years in between each video, but I'm pretty sure the last one I posted was... Oh no, it's been years. I actually have a lot more content planned. I've been redoing my room to be like... <sighs> My whole concept is a library in an enchanted forest. I'm calling it Cottage Academia, you know? I kind of wish that I had started documenting that process because I'm really liking how it's looking so far. I did this a few weeks ago. Got these pretty lace curtains. Curtains. Curtains? Curtains. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I, I, I just, I guess I didn't think of it, but you know, I've been thrifting everything that I've put in my room thus far, you know, except for like this shit, which I got on Amazon. <laughs> I mean, I, I just have some cool stuff that I wish I had actually documented the journey because man, it has, has it been a journey? But yeah, let me know if you'd be interested in me doing a video on like actually documenting like the last things that I need to do. There's still some stuff that I need to get accomplished in this room and I can go over, uh, sort of how I went about thrifting all the things that I have now. That could be fun. Let me know. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But okay, so today I decided as my first video back that I would do a sort of like reading sprints, read with me kind of a day. I'm reading The Last Graduate by Naomi Novik. I finished the first book, A Deadly Education, back in uh, June, I think. But, um, you know, I'm one of those people who starts a series and then is like, well, I can't just start the next book right away. I have so many other things on my TBR. I should jump around. I don't understand myself. So this is the book I'm going to be trying. <laughs> Where can I put this? That would be cute. Do we like it there? That was fun. It's fine. Do we like the new placement? <laughs> Doesn't matter because it's staying. What the hell was I saying? I recently got a book Twitter because you know The thing that you should definitely do when you're overwhelmed in life is get another social media account I really got it because I have heard that that's a really good way to keep up with authors and bookstores and book events I'm trying to go to more book events. I really want to start vlogging those excursions, but I'm so freaking shy So I have to make sure that I have a friend there. I think every time otherwise I'm just gonna be like hi camera in the corner <laughs> Why would, why was I telling that story? I got a book Twitter to keep up with authors and saw that Naomi Novik I'm recording this on Monday August 29th and she is doing readings from the last book and I think it's the last book the next book in this series What is it the golden enclave? She's gonna be doing readings from that book starting on the 31st, literally Wednesday. Well, that's a great excuse to just binge a book because I haven't really been reading much lately. I started annotating my copy of Six of Crows for a dear friend. For some reason that has slowed me down quite a bit. I've also been very, very hyper fixated on uh, redoing my room. I think I subconsciously decided that reading was not a priority. <laughs> So I'm gonna make it a priority today. I think this will also be a great excuse to do some very soft dopamine detoxing. Cause you know, I have ADHD. We'll probably talk about that more at some point. I think this is the first video where I'm really like a truly realized ADHD human. So <laughs> you'll probably have more content about ADHD at some point. Anyway, I think this is a great opportunity to do a soft dopamine detox where I take away lots of the things that give me dopamine, like being on my phone, shopping, watching TV, and I'm gonna like shrink them down into little 15 minute increments throughout my day of reading. So the, the, the specifications, if you will. I need to do 12 hours of reading. That's at least the amount of time it says on my little audiobook app. I'm gonna do six hours today and six hours tomorrow. I made a little schedule. This is really the only way I ever get anything done. So it has increments of doing the work and then breaks of 15 minutes in between. So it's 30 minutes of reading and then 15 minutes off. And then every like three segments, I will take an hour break. And then it's just, you know, 
little rewards, little dopamine hits along the way to keep me motivated, to keep me having a good time, you know, not wanting to absolutely die throughout this process. So six hours with those breaks built into the schedule actually turns into 11 hours today. That's gonna be super fun. I am already 38 minutes late to the schedule that I wanted to do. Start at, I wanted to start at 10.30 a.m. and it is now 11.08. So we're already behind because I'm me. So that's good. We'll just figure that out and it'll be pushed further back as much as it needs to be. So I think without further ado, I should get started reading. I have my smoothie, my book, got my pens here at the ready because annotating is actually super fun. Oh my gosh, now I'm just stalling. Let me just clarify, I do love reading. <laughs> I just um, have ADHD. <laughs> so we're gonna do 30 minute sprint, 15 minute break, repeat that three times, and we'll take an hour break. I will check back in with thoughts and things. I'm gonna put my audiobook on, I'm gonna sit my ass back, and I will be back with an update at some point. Let's do this. <laughs> So I've just finished 45 pages. I think I started at like 11, 15, 11, 20, and it is now 12, 30, which means that math happens now. I've been reading for like an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so that's 75 minutes. Wow, that's actually really fast because 45 pages, if it's two minutes per page, Page, that should have been 90 minutes. So this might actually go faster than I thought. That would be great. I put these vines up without really realizing how uncomfortable it would be to be like sitting with the vines coming down on my head. We're at 12.30 now and I'm about to take an hour break to, you know, cleanse my brain a little bit before I get back to reading. I'm only 15 minutes behind now because I just read through the first two 15 minute breaks. So I did an hour and 15 minutes without stopping, which is good. I feel like that's a good jumping off point. I have to pee so bad. So I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna take my hour break. I will be back when it's time to start reading again. Okay, so it is now 1.30 ish. Well, let's just get back to it. I ordered some sushi. So that's on the way, because uh, up to this point, all I've had is my, my smoothie and these Cheez-Its, so. If you haven't picked up on this already, I am excellent at planning things. Now we are actually gonna do the 30 minute reading and a 15 minute break after that. I'll be back at two with another little update. If I have anything to say, I might not. <laughs> all right, here we go. of this book is just absolutely incredible. It's just so intricate that sometimes, even when I'm ha I have the physical book in front of me, I have the audiobook playing as I'm reading, I still dissociate sometimes. <laughs> the magic system is so meticulously crafted. The world is, is just, it's all so intricate and detailed that a lot of the book is just explaining how things work, how uh, the school works, how the magic works, how the monsters work. And, and like, I'm listening to a chapter right now that's about midterms and like just the minutia of the like politics of the group inside this school. Sometimes my brain just checks out, even though I have two mediums giving me the the words at once. And I like I I mostly read epic fantasy, so like world building is not a new concept to me. I don't know. There's just something about this series specifically that is just so much world building, and it's so necessary. I'm not sure I understand. Siri, nobody asked you. I don't understand either, Siri. It's definitely necessary. Like, I, I 
don't think that Naomi Novik could get away with not giving us all of this information necessarily because there's little details like a maleficer in the school, one of the upperclassmen. A maleficer is just basically a dark wizard who uses, it's like a necromancer almost. Like they, they take the magical power out of people instead of generating their own magic, magical energy. But there's a, there's one that is playing something particularly nefarious and the main character Galadriel, she explains that, okay, now you may think that that is super evil, that it is a, just objectively evil, terrible thing to do. But for context, we students, we understand why he would be doing this and then goes on to explain why he would be doing this and why it's understandable. And it's little details like that that make this story so rich and like I feel like I know this place. It's a place that actually, it's starting to actually manifest in my brain as a real place, like the Grishaverse. I will say though, I don't know if I care necessarily as much about these characters yet as I want to because it is mostly world building. And to be fair, you know, I'm only 26% finished. We could be coming out of that here soon. It's just that so much needs to be explained for us to actually understand why certain things are happening. And it's a little dizzying. I would use the word dizzying. <laughs> to where I, I have to go back and read, reread or re-listen to things more often than I would like to. And sometimes I zone out and decide not to go back because I just don't have the time. That being said, I am still very much enjoying it. Okay, I have to get back to it now because of course plans went awry and I am behind not as much as I could be, but I'm still behind. So I need to, need to get on it. So I will see you on the next break, bye. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you one thing for sure. I would not survive a week, maybe not even that, in this school. So intense. I think what's most endearing about this book is the main character is somebody who is trying so hard to be like hateful and mean because that's like the, the cards life has dealt her. Everyone is already very hateful to her, so she might as well just be hateful back to them because nobody's ever given her anything. But she's not a bad person. So when she actually starts receiving friendship and love and kindness, that's when she starts doing things for other people. And it's so natural to her because she was never a bad person. I, I just love that trope of, I don't even know what to really call it. Anyway, so I've just finished this last block of reading. So I'm on, technically I'm on an hour break. We'll see if I take the whole hour. I've done two and a half hours now, and I believe I was supposed to be at three hours. So I'm still in a, a, a half hour behind schedule, but that's okay because a half an hour I can make up. Why is life so hard and why does it cost money? I feel like I can't, I can't actually take a day to do just something that I want to do because life will remind me that the only reason I can actually take a day right now to just read a book is because I'm unemployed. <laughs> there are definitely other things that I could be doing today, even though this feels like self-care, you know? It is, it, life is what life is. <laughs> you can put that on a pillow. I'm gonna take my break now and I'll be back when it's time to start reading again. Namaste. We are back. It is now 441, which means I am even further behind schedule. <laughs> We're doing great, you guys. We're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing great. We're doing great. How many times do I have to say it before I convince myself that we're doing great? What are these cute little bags I got from Barnes and Noble? I don't need, I'm stalling again. Also, oh my gosh, has my hair looked crazy this whole time and you didn't tell me? What kind of friend are you? Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous and unacceptable. So, okay, we are 29% done with this book. We can do it, you and me. Let's go. Woo! 
Does anyone else love books that have chapters that are named? I miss that. I feel like books always used to do that, where each individual chapter has its own unique name. I don't know why I miss that so much. Also, like, table of contents are so sexy. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. So whew, we're coming into the home stretch here, unless I decide to keep reading past the point that I decided to do for today. We'll see. I wasn't supposed to start reading it until 7.30 because this is one of my hour long breaks, but I feel like breaking my, my rules, you know? Yes, I'm drinking a lot of soda. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just doing my best in this life, all right? So I'm actually back on schedule now, which is pretty cool. Actually, I'm ahead of schedule. You really need to see how beautiful it is outside right now. Like, oh. Anyway, okay, yeah, so we are gonna just, we're just gonna keep going for it. I will say I'm now pretty much halfway through the book and definitely have feelings for the characters more. We've gotten to the spice, which I wasn't sure was gonna happen. I really didn't need it necessarily to happen because for me, romance isn't something I need in a book necessarily. I love it, but you know, I, I prefer if it's not the center of the plot. That's just me though. I, oh my God, the parrots are back. <sighs> I wish dogs lived as long as parrots do. Well, it's time to get back to reading. Let's do this. Well, you heard it here first, y'all. I am officially ahead of schedule. Who is she? I've never met her, but I like her. It's 8 p.m. and I've read six hours. I mean, thank goodness for audiobooks. Am I right? Well, let's see here. My audiobook says 55% of the way through and my Goodreads says 57% of the way through. We're gonna go with Goodreads. I really should try and only leave about three or four hours of reading time left for tomorrow, which I actually do think is doable. I think I can do two more hours of reading today. My bedtime is usually 11 p.m., 11.30. So if I just keeps on reading until then, I think this is doable. Hi Cheez-Its, I'm Kat Lee and I would love for you to sponsor me. It's now 8.15, it's time to get back to reading. See you on the flip side. chapters stress anybody else out. <laughs> this book has the longest chapters. I think that's kind of, that's a Naomi Novik thing though. She tends to write really long chapters. <sighs> okay, it is 8.50 now and I only have about five hours and 15 minutes left in the book. I'm gonna sign off for now and then I will come back tomorrow with an update on how far I get tonight. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so it's day two and I'm just going to apologize in advance. This audio is so bad. I truly don't know why I thought that my AirPods were just gonna pick up my voice and filter out the sounds of this busy mall. So instead of harming your ears with that awful, awful audio, I'm just going to tell you what I was saying in this voiceover. Okay, so here I'm just telling you that I have about two and a half hours left in the book and that tomorrow is the day that Naomi Novik is going to be starting her live readings of the Golden Enclave on her Instagram. And then I'm just saying that I'm actually in a way better position than I expected to be in at this point. I'm way farther in the book, so it's going well. 
and I'm gonna start reading now and I'll check back in later. Okay, and then here I'm just expressing my newly found desire for a mouse familiar that I never thought I would have before reading this book. And now I am worrying out loud that we are nearing the climax of the book and the main character is realizing something really big and I am very scared that I will not understand what's happening. The plot line is just so incredibly intricate and I just hope by the time we actually get to the climax of the book, I won't be lost. Good news, I do understand what's going on. I'm just really glad that I get to hear the next chapter tomorrow because I don't know how I don't know how everyone else waited any longer than a day to find out what happens. Oh my god. Do you remember when I said I didn't necessarily care all that much about these characters? I will say though, I don't know if I care necessarily as much about these characters yet as I want to. <laughs> Okay, good night. Oh, dear friends, we have come to the end of the journey, the end of the road. And as you can see, it was worth it. Here I am listening to Miss Naomi Novik read the first chapter of The Golden Enclave. And I'm still pretty angry <laughs> about what's going on, but I'm really very proud of myself for what I achieved and being able to now participate in these readings. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. Bye.